race for the cure. It's an awesome event every year, full of thousands of runners and thousands of stories. And it could be a really personal cause for some of these runners and their families. Christina Laurie talked with one of those survivors and is here to share her story this morning. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Danica, Adam. It's been a little more than five years, 1,841 days to be exact. That's how long Rhonda Hilmerhausen has been cancer free. Five years is a major milestone for any breast cancer survivor. But even though Rhonda herself is cancer free, her fight is far from over. Anyone who knows Rhonda knows her hair is her thing. It always had to be perfect. It always had to be in place. And as far as I was concerned, that was who I was, was my hair. That's why five years ago, just days before the race for the cure in 2013, was one of the toughest parts of Rhonda's cancer fight. A couple treatments into chemo, she shaved her entire head. But then the eyebrows start falling out and the eyelashes start falling out and then you just feel generic. It's, it's, I think that was probably the worst part of the whole thing is you just feel like you're this generic. You're not even thinking about being sick, you're just feeling you're, like you're, you're just nothing. Sporting that shaved head, Rhonda raced here in Madison. And back in her hometown of Wausau, too. One month after undergoing a tram flap procedure to remove a cancerous lump from her breast. It was Rhonda's friend, a breast cancer survivor herself, who got Rhonda involved in the race. She looked me in the eye and said, we're going to do this race for the cure. Whether I have to strap you in a gurney and drag you there, you're going. They've been breast friends ever since. Team Breast Friends. It's now their Race for the Cure team name and a system of undying financial and emotional support for Rhonda and the nearly 270,000 Americans diagnosed with breast cancer this year alone. Men and women should not have to go through this disease and say, I can't afford to have it. 75% of the money raised for the race stays local to pay for treatments and education, plus expenses like daycare, car insurance, and bus rides. Money aside, Rhonda spends her time nowadays motivating women and men in the midst of their own cancer battles, giving them hope that they too can survive and thrive like her. You look beautiful, whether you have no hair or not, because you're still who you are inside. With three weeks to go until this year's race, Rhonda has already surpassed her fundraising goal of $10,000. She's at around $13,000 today, but has her eye on fifteen. dollars She says that it took her a long time to figure out why she got cancer. But events like the Race for the Cure make it clear. This is the reason she got cancer, to share her story, to raise money, to fight on behalf of other women and men living with breast cancer. And we certainly thank her for yeah. doing that. So thank you for sharing her story, Christina. We appreciate it. It was really an honor meeting yeah. her. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Race is going to be on May 19th, by the way. Uh, after you're done dropping off your personal information at Warner Park for shredding,